Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to automate bees with uh, Billcraft, of course Forestry, and uh, Mind Factory Reloaded. This is exactly the same setup as Direwolf had in uh, his video. It was uh, his Season 5 uh, SMP episode 22 or something. I will put a link in the description for that video. But he used Computercraft instead, and I used this control block here. So that's the big difference, but I'm still going to go over everything. So firstly, you have vapor here, it's just a normal vapor, with a wooden transport pipe on the side, with a gate, a archaeotic gate or what they are called. And when it detects items in my inventory, it will activate the energy pulser that will send down items into this apiaris pipe that will send princesses the blue way. So all princesses will go up here and into this apiary again, and everything else will go into here. Nothing complicated about that. And here is the first chest. It's connected to a chest here. I have some mo modest drones in it. So I have purebred bees here to the white color that looks gray here, but it's white. Uh, modest, modest, so they must be modest in both genomes. And here I have drones, modest, so it only has to be modest in one of its genomes. At least it's the way Daryl made it, so I trust him. And here, drones. Any kind of drone can get in to this chest. And here I just have an iron pipe. Any pipe could work, but it was what I had in the inventory. This is just regular chests. So here is the setup. Oh, that was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. It will probably still work. So I have blue, red, and green wire on these structure pipes here, and three diamond AND gates. And the first one for the first just here is items in the inventory. So an item is in the inventory here. This will give it out a redstone signal, and in the items in for it will give out a red pipe signal. So this one has one, the same thing here, item in intro, redstone signal, but this must also be fulfilled. So the pipe signal must be off, the red pipe signal. So this one can't give out a signal, and this one is given out a single signal. No. And it has items in inventory, blue pipe wire. So this will give out a signal here as well. And this one has items in the inventory, red pipe, si redstone signal. And uh, this one, redstone signal, and this one, redstone signal. Let's see. Yeah, they are turned off. I thought I had done something wrong there, but I have had it. So when the red and the blue is off, this can give out a signal. It's green. Items in inventory green. It's actually not necessary to this build. But you see the red net cables here. They are called white, orange. Uh, magenta and same coloring here so it's easy first row white second row orange and this one magenta and these are just arthritic gates on wood wooden pipes and here's uh, iron gates not iron gates iron pipes so items can only go this way into the apiary 
This is a gate, normal gate, that gives up the red so signal, as you see here. Then a queen or princess is missing from the API array. So now I'm going to show you how the programming, I think you should call this programming please, works. So you see up, input slash output up, then white. So this has white, the white color, so the input goes into here, the top side. Here. It will go through the circuit, it's a pulse former from, it works just like a pulse former from red power, and will give, give out an internal signal or variable of zero. And that zero will go through this pulse, pulse lengthener here, and it will be lengthened to 10 ticks. I think it sticks at least. This works for me. If it doesn't, you might need to lower or hide that number. If you don't get out any bees at all, you need to hire that number. If you get out too many bees, you need to lower that number. So it's pretty easy. You just need to right click or left click. And it gives out a variable of one. And now we have so has a AND gate. So when one is active, so when the princess is missing and a half second after, this just it it will activate on signals from here. So when this just is signal out that it has a drone, it will go up here and in here and get an output signal to here and pump one out here, so we'll get a new drone input here. And this is the same thing, but for the second row. So it's orange and orange. And the third way, or third row, is just from magenta. It's the most compact you can build, I think, in circuit space in here. And it's not that complex. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will try to answer them as best I can. And if you want to see how Darwolf did it, look in the description, there should be a link. And if you want to see a detailed tutorial about how a tutorial series about how these things work in RedNet. You should probably look at another link I have down in the description. And of course, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.